Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking about what to expect at a prosthetic legs appointment. Double amputee perspective. About prosthetic limb centres, there aren't that many in England and they're under NHS hospital trusts. There are private centres as well. I'm going to be talking about prosthetic limb centres as an NHS patient. The process of booking appointments. Appointment has to be booked and it depends on the prosthetic's availability. You can't just turn up like a &E. For those who don't live in the UK, the a is actually an emergency and it's where people go for emergencies in the hospital. If there's an emergency issue with my prosthetic legs, then my prosthetic will try to get me in as soon as possible, but it's not always instant. I have a designated prosthetist and it takes a while for a new prosthetist to get used to my prosthetic legs and the process of making them and other errors like that. But if my prosthetist is sick or off and I need something done urgently, then I have seen other prosthetists. At prosthetic limb centres, there's also a workshop with technicians and they work on te more technical aspects of the prosthetic legs and making them and they also assist the prosthetists. Preparation for the appointment. At my prosthetic leg appointments, I don't wear dresses, skirts or shoes that are difficult to get off. So at my appointment, I have to take my legs on and off a lot and my prosthetist needs to see how I'm walking and also if I'm getting new sockets, then my prosthetist has to see the top of my sockets and how they fit. So if I'm wearing something long, that will get in the way. Also, if I wear shoes that are difficult to get on and off, it will be hard for me and my prosthetist because sometimes my shoes have to be taken off. And if my legs are going into the workshop, then my shoes have to be taken off because they can get very dusty and dirty in there. So it's good to protect my shoes from all of that. At the appointment. Prosthetic legs appointments can take a short time, many hours and even the whole day. As an amputee, you do build a relationship with your prosthetist because you see them a lot of the time. If I'm getting new sockets for my prosthetic legs, then my prosthetist will take a cast. It's similar to a plaster cast if someone's broken their arm or leg, but it's a bit of a different process. Yeah, in some centres they take measurements of the stumps. I've had my measurements taken of my stumps and then measurements are used for 3D printing so they're sent off to get 3D printed for the check socket. Either way, if it's a cast or 3D printing process, the check socket is made and this is a clear socket. This is a picture of check sockets that I found online. It's just an example. At the appointment for the check socket, this is the socket that's made before the final socket. At the bottom of the check socket is a pole. So I get in and I see how it fits and if anyone needs to be trimmed or adjusted. And I tell my prosthetist, like I walk a bit in them, but obviously I can't really walk in them because it's not the whole prosthetic leg and the knee attached and everything like that. The fitting of the check socket can actually sometimes be completely wrong. So the process has to be started all over again and this can be hard to have to go back to the beginning. Especially for the amputee, this has happened to me on many occasions. Final socket. At the appointment for the final socket, I try the socket and see how it fits. And I tell my prosthetics once again if anything needs to be adjusted or trimmed, especially on the tops of my sockets. Then I practice walking up and down just to see if everything's okay. Now I process also check the alignment of my legs. It can take a while to adjust to new sockets because they feel different. Especially if your old sockets were tight and they weren't fitting properly then it's hard to go from like those sockets to sockets that actually fit properly because it doesn't feel right in the beginning. It can take um, a long time to adjust. But once I've adjusted to it then it's okay. On the other hand sometimes I have to come back for additional appointments if the new sockets aren't working properly or I'm having issues with them, then my prosthetics will adjust it. The process for new sockets can take a long time, it can vary, it can take even up to a couple of months. It can be quicker on that depending on the situation and what's going on. If I have other issues, then my prosthetics can also deal with that at my prosthetic leg appointments. In prosthetic limb centres, they're also physiotherapists and they can also help amputees if needed. If an amputee wants to move to a different prosthetic limb centre, the notes and files will have to be transferred and also the new centre has to say they can accept the amputee before they can move and everything can be transferred. It can be an lengthy process. Additionally, it can take time, as I said, for a new prosthetic to get used to making your prosthetic legs and other errors like that. Prosthetic leg appointments can take a long time and often the issue isn't resolved in one appointment. It can take multiple appointments or several months for something to be resolved if it's an ongoing issue and also for a new socket to be finalised or made it can take a long time or sometimes things keep going wrong and as amputee I have to keep going back. It is frustrating sometimes but I've learnt to work around it. 
thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And hit the bell to get notified when I first upload new videos. Comment down below if you have any questions about the appointment process. See you next time. Thank you.